Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is going to be the follow-up video to the question that I originally posed and that is what is your opinion on knockoff fragrances? Now I really want to thank everyone right to begin with that responded. It actually helped me very greatly realize that there are a lot of things that I don't think that everyone uh, really connects with as far as uh, some definitions go, some thought processes go, and I think this is a great video to actually go ahead and uh, make that connection, make that bond. So let's go ahead and get started. Start off with uh, one of the very first or one of the comments that is in there, and this comment was from Tom G. This comment reads, this seems like just another way of state of asking, niche or designer. I think the fact that these knockoff is great. It gives people who cannot afford niche scents a chance to wear something born out of the success of another more expensive scent. And uh, to that comment or to that quote, this actually is not a video or another way of asking if this is if it's niche versus designer or anything like that. It's actually completely different. I have not tackled that uh, topic yet. I will ta uh, tackle it in the future, but as of right now, I have not tackled it yet. But to the point, I really wanted to. Uh, you know, target the argument of knockoffs, fakes, clones, and imitations, um, and going through that. So that's what this question and this video is focusing on. Uh, the second comment, I want to go ahead and start off with a quote. This was from Jay Stilo, or Stilo, I mean, pronouncing that wrong. I think a knockoff frag is one that is inspired by another frag or straight copy. Using someone else's product as the foundation of yours, even if you change it up a little, it has nothing to do with mon monetary value. Is Fresco a knockoff of Aventus? Yes. Is Unforgivable a knockoff of Millicent Imperial? Yes. But Shea Bond, which costs hundreds of dollars, is yet another knockoff of Green Irish Tweed. You see it at all levels and all price points. That, that comment and a couple others actually made me stop and think. I realized that I think a lot of us are have a different interpretation of what uh, knockoffs are, fakes are, clones are, and imitations are. Uh, so let me go ahead and kind of first divide it up into those uh, separate things. Knockoffs and fakes. My interpretation of what knockoffs and fakes are, I live in New York. If you go down to Chinatown, you are able to find various knockoffs of Chanel bags, Louis Vuitton bags, of various products and uh, various items that are meant uh, that are going under the Louis Vuitton Chanel name. They look like the actual bags, but they're not the real thing. They sell for about a tenth of the price. That is a knockoff to me. In other words, a knockoff is literally trying to copy or to take someone else's work, create the exact same thing at a much lower quality and sell it for, um, uh, for a reduced price for it. But at the same time, you're still using uh, that you know Louis Vuitton, that Chanel name, to sell your product. That to me is a knockoff. The same thing goes, and that, that goes synonymous with fake. That is a knockoff. That is a fake. If we're to translate this into the fragrance world, that essentially what I'm viewing as a knockoff is something like uh, a Green Irish Tweed or a Creed, a fake bottle. Uh, literally, somebody tried to copy Creed, uh, Creed uh, Green Irish Tweed, created their own bottle. Uh, gave it, mixed it in their, with their own juice, what they thought would smell like it, and sold it as is. That is a knockoff, and that is a fake. And I realized, uh, based from Jay Stilos, and a lot of people actually have the same other uh, interpretation of what a knockoff is, as he just stated, that they think that a knockoff is that as well. And so for clarity's sake, what this video is talking about, or what I'm talking about, when I say a knockoff is the aforementioned what I just went ahead and explained. Basically that copy that goes through. Clones and imitations on the other hand, I would view, that is what I view something like fresco with. That is something like a, um, in the clothing world it's a little bit harder to um, come across, but something that comes off as its own name, like a fresco, as compared to Aventus, but smells like Aventus. In other words, it's clear that the people who created Fresco were trying to imitate Aventus, uh, the smell from Aventus, but they're still going under their own name. Uh, so that to me is what a clone or an imitation is. Uh, so if we go off on some other comments, Anime Pimp had this comment. Uh, when I think of the term knockoffs, I do not think Fresco versus Aventus. I think fake Aventus made in China sold on eBay as real Aventus. This type of knockoff I'm not a fan of. 
However, if someone is creating something similar to something else, I do not have an issue with it. Imitation is a sincere, sincerest form of flattery, after all. Besides, I don't always happen, or I don't always happen expensive than cheaper anyway. Individual 2003 came out for the original Santel in 2005, after all, which she makes a point. Uh, and I completely agree with what Anime Pimp is saying on it. The I have absolutely no problem with clones or imitation fragrances. The fragrances uh, like, you know, uh, Fresco. Fragrances like, uh, you would say, Original Santal or um, any other that smells like it that markets under its own name. I have absolutely no problem with that. And I actually completely support, you know, people buying uh, those fragrances. And I don't think that they're cheap or anything uh, less than it. They may be, you know, less quality or whatever, but I don't hold the uh, position that people who buy them are cheap or anything like that. We all don't have the same price points. We all don't have the same resources. You know, go for something that is more uh, along the lines of, you know, how much you can actually spend. How much you can actually spend. Sorry, I said that too fast. But I do have a problem with knockoffs and fakes. Knockoffs and fakes, I have a problem with for a couple of reasons. One of which, the first and foremost, is that it's essentially uh, stealing. Not the people who are buying it, but the people who have cloned it and who have, uh, I'm sorry, who have knocked it off or who have made the fake fragrance. It's essentially stealing. It's it's writing on another company's name. It's actually taking down another company's name because if somebody uh, picks up that fragrance, smells it, they're like, "Oh, this is crap," and they're not smelling, you know, the real fragrance. Well, it's because it was it was made fake, and so you're also taking down uh, that person or that person or company's name. Uh, and the third reason off of it is it's unsafe, basically. I mean, you don't know what is in those fragrances. So, yeah, sure, it's going to be a lot cheaper and everything like that. But, again, you don't know what, are, what is in these fragrances and what you're spraying on your skin. You have absolutely no idea. And, quite frankly, a lot of these companies or a lot of these places that create these fragrances have very poor track records in terms of safety, uh, stuff like that. So when you spray this stuff on your skin, uh, if something, God forbid, happens, you know, you have no recourse to it. You know, you take this fake Creed fragrance to... Creed and they're going to laugh at you because, you know, it's obviously not, you know, the real thing. You have no recourse against them. Whereas if I spray something on my skin uh, that comes from Calvin Klein or something like that, that is a legit Calvin Klein fragrance, and it for some reason causes some problem, I do have recourse. I can go to that company and say, hey, this fragrance did blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, I have some possible legal recourse for it. And there is a reason for that. You know, they have their own established... Uh, you know, name and business, and you can take action against that. You cannot take action against a knockoff or a fake fragrance. That is essentially one of the many reasons why I absolutely do not support knockoffs or fakes. No matter what the price point is, it may be, yeah, whatever. Those reasons altogether, I do not support it at all. Um, uh, Raj, or 8RK7, actually had a great response on this, too, and he summed it up great. If by knockoff you mean fake juice, you may find on a market stall, I'm sorry, if by knockoff you mean fake juice, you may find on a market stall, then no, I do not support that, as it's illegal. If by knockoff you mean imitation, then it depends. Take individual versus original Santel. For me, original Santel uh, is miles better. Yes, MBI smells similar, but is no way better. If you are willing to spend more money and get a better fragrance, then that's fine. If you do not want it, then that's also fine. It depends on your desire for quality and the sacrifice you are willing to make to obtain the finest. And I absolutely completely agree with that. As long as we're talking about in the realm of, uh, you know, legal, and we're not talking about the knockoffs and the fakes, as I've defined before, perfectly fine. So... so just wanted to read a couple other comments. Uh, L8 Bro or Later Bro uh, wrote, Some fake fragrances have been tested and were shown to have toxic or unsanitary ingredients. Also, it is known that organized crime and even terrorist organizations have been behind the distribution counterfeit fashion products. Bingo. Yes, another reason. And that, yes, that has been proven that behind a lot of these uh, uh, fake fragrances or knockoff fragrances that are made to completely imitate. Yes, they are coming from sources that um, you may not wish to deal with, 
Ooh, yeah. Uh, just leave it at that and see his comment. Dgreg846 uh, wrote, This is not a question of the quality of knockoffs, albeit some do lack it, but the principle of plagiarism. Perfumers create fragrances as a form of art. To copy, steal <coughs> the artistic work of the original creator's IMO is just wrong. Back in the day, this was called biting. Knockoffs do help people get some what of an experience of the original, but we must realize that the majority of the population have no idea what Creed is. I will not buy a knockoff, but I do not judge people who do. And I think that's a very excellent tempered response uh, towards the whole thing um, as far as design goes. And I'm, I'm going to be completely blunt and honest. As far as design goes, on my opinion, I, I am definitely not an authority to go to in terms of it. I have a very open view in terms of uh, knockoffs and fakes and originals. And it may be because I'm not an actual perfumer that I can't uh, truly come to, uh, uh, you know, an, a sympathy or an empathetic uh, viewpoint. But I'm pretty open as far as, for example, I have, I don't have any problem with a uh, fresco uh, versus Aventus. Yes, they are similar at the top, but I think if you smell a little bit harder, uh, you will uh, definitely see that Aventus is different than Fresco. And so just that using that for an example, yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit different as far as the creativity aspect goes. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit more of an open interpretation of that. And Diego del Carpio, this is the last comment I'm gonna go ahead and read, wrote, I think that somebody should uh I, I'm sorry, I think that nobody should care. In the end, there are thousands of fragrances you choose from, not just or just choose the one you like and you think is worth cash, or worth the cash, and you will be fine and happy with your purchase. In the end, everyone forgets the most important thing about fragrances. They are made for you to enjoy them, and the most and the more choices, the better. Nobody points a gun at you to buy it or ju or to judge. It's your own choice. Rock what you will, rock what you love, and believe me, it will work. And at the end of the day, I think he's right. At the end of the day, you know, wear what you like. Uh, whether it be original Santal, whether it be Green Irish Tweed, whether it be Cool Water, whatever you like, go ahead and wear it. Um, but I do put that caution in about the knockoffs or fake fragrances because uh, I, I just don't think it's a risk worth taking. Uh, if it comes down to that and you really want a Ventus, um, I would say completely steer away from the fake Ventus model and just go for something that smells like it, like fresco or going for a split or something like that i would i would never recommend buying the fake fragrance or the uh knockoff all right uh so if you have any comments anything to add to the discussion go ahead and leave it down below um yeah do whatever you gotta do thank you take care of yourselves and have a great day